during the second intifada uh, a lot of uh, civilians like regular people were killed yeah. um, do you feel bad about it civilians, do you agree with it Palestinian or... civilians yeah yeah do you agree with killing civilians and do you think the Israeli army did it on purpose no okay. you have more to I add were you in the army or something defense. okay were you in the army yeah. uh, you're too young to be you weren't in the intifada right yeah you you were a soldier. No, no, I was a okay. soldier. Uh, okay. Two years ago. Okay. Um, during the second intifada, um, a lot of Palestinian civilians were killed. Um, do you feel bad about that? And do you think that Israel um, killed civilians on purpose? Uh, no, I think I don't think that they kill uh, civilians on purpose. Uh, it's it's kind of a complicated uh, question. I'm not uh, in the left side or in the right side. Mm -hmm. I believe actually that um, extreme religious people in both sides are making the situation uh, problematic. Okay. So, But do you feel bad that civilians were killed? Uh, if, if those civilians are, are not the same civilians that uh, hide, uh, you know, uh, during the war and intifada and stuff, uh, civilians uh, hide, uh, you know, uh, the Hezbollah and Palestinian uh, 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 fighters. Yeah, yeah, in their house and uh, also uh, missiles uh, launchers uh -huh. and stuff. If, if it's not those those people, so yes, I feel bad for them. But uh, I must say that. Uh, and no, uh, many many civilians are like what I said. So. Yeah, were you or were you in the army? No. Are you? I, I, uh, okay, so how do you know that? That's. Uh, I know this from uh, from the news and from uh, my friends that uh, are in the army. Mm -hmm. uh, I have many friends in the army, uh, but myself I didn't post. Uh, during the second intifada, a lot of Palestinian civilians were killed. Do you feel bad about that? Do you think the uh, Israeli army did it on purpose? I think that uh, I feel the same like them. Both of us are victims. I don't feel like it. It's not uh, uh, It's not fun that people are killed, mm -hmm. but uh, we are in a war. Both of us are uh, the same victim. That's it. In the second Antifada, um, a lot of uh, civilians were killed. What do you think of that? And it wasn't on purpose. I think it's a tragedy, actually. I don't think it was on purpose, but uh, it's a very complicated conflict, and um, it's not so easy to solve this. And sometimes civilians get caught in the way. Why do you think um, civilian? Uh, why do you think that happens? Because when you operate in a, in a very condensed area with lots of civilians and houses, it's bound to happen. Hmm. Yeah. Do you think the, the army acts properly in that sense? I think it tries to do you know, what's best. Uh, it tries to avoid uh, harmless casualties. Maybe they could do better. I don't know. I'm not an expert. but. Uh, A lot of innocent people were killed in the Second Intifada. Do you agree with it, them being killed? Do you think it was done on purpose? I don't think it was done on purpose. I think it was a collateral damage. I personally believe that uh, the IDF is a very moral uh, army. Being part of it, I know how what the orders are, and uh, uh, it's very uh, it's a very strict order not to uh, harm uh, innocent people, but. The, the nature of fighting there is the inside uh, innocent population, and you have people shoot at you, you shoot back, and uh, people get hurt. hurt. Can, can, can you give an example from the Second Intifada, maybe? Like, is there something that happened to you or something you know of? Um, well, there. We were fighting in, a, let's say, Jericho, mm -hmm. and uh, every night you get shot at, and you shoot back. 
in the direction of the sh shooting you are, but you're shooting in, into uh, into inside the city. So mm. uh, there's a fire coming to you from a building. You shoot back into that building. If the if there are innocent people there, they could get hurt. But that's uh, how it goes. During the Second Intifada, a lot of um, uh, Palestinians were civilians, like regular people, were killed. Um, what do you think about that? And do you think Israel did it on purpose? I think that is a bullshit. When you ask me the terrorist, with these people killing you, killing you, and the meaning of them is only to kill you. And if you're going to try to, to make, you're going to make for yourself, self-defense. If you're going to self-defense and you're going to go after people that are going to kill you, mm -hmm. and they are going to go under other people, people are going to die. So wh why do so many civilians, so many people who are innocent then it's die? Not, it's not like that. If you go to America, in England, in France, any kind of war that they are making, they're killing a thousand and hundreds. Go to Syria, people against them, people. They are making a war and they're killing 100,000 and the war don't say. They have a problem, the war against Jewish people. No, I'm Jewish, not Israel. Maybe after Israel. They have per people have problem with the Jewish people, not with the, not with the, what's going on. Only with the Jewish people. And that's going out. Palestinian and Pal all the world going after Palestinian. Go to Egypt any day, they are dying uh, hundreds of people. Okay, when you were in the army, did you did you fight? Okay, so did you ever like see civilians who were hurt no. or killed? No, no, never. I see people that are making a problem. They are acting. Like what? Dude, what do you mean? They are acting, but it's not like that. It's, they are acting after you understand. They are acting. It's acting. Anything what I think so. You think or other people think that Israeli makes a problem. But I think I think I don't think that you are right. Okay. It's like that, anybody. From where you are? Canada. Canada, of course, you have there a lot of Muslims and they think that every problem is coming from Israel. But it's like that, all the hate is against the Jews. No, no what happened to the Palestinians. I think the Palestinians have good life, better life than what in any, any Arab country in this area. And you're going to see, if not, why don't go into photo in Syria or in Egypt or in Jordan or in Libya or in Lub or in or in Tunis, you only come to Israel because you can go. During the second intifada, um, there were a lot of civilians were killed, Palestinian civilians. So there, someone is asking whether you think, um, do you feel bad about that? Um, and do you think uh, Israel did that on purpose? No, I don't think that Israel did it on purpose, but uh, of course I, I feel bad that people are killing. It's not that uh, we need it's not really the, that uh, these kind of things will happen. Mm -hmm. but, uh, okay. Were you in, in the second intifada? Were you in the army? No. Okay. I wasn't in the army. I, did, I didn't make army. Um, during the second intifada, uh, a lot of civilians were killed. The question is, um, are, what do you think of that? That civilians were killed? And do you think that the Israeli army did it on purpose? First of all, uh, I don't think that anybody wants uh, to hurt anybody on purpose. Uh, I think that we do our best, really. I, I, can, I can tell you about myself and my friends, we did everything to keep uh, the civilian population very safe. And we tried. Can, can you give an example? Uh, we, never, we never ever shot uh, or chased anybody into a building with which uh, civilians were in it. Or was, we never went into a situation which civilians uh, uh, were in, in danger because of our presence over there. Uh, we, never, we never, even when we had to put ourselves in danger, we, do the, we did uh, our best 
to get out of there and not uh, and not m make this situation worse than it is, even if it means to let go a mission or things like that. Uh, I I can tell you that since the beginning of my service, uh, all the time the, the commanders and all the, the messages that we got is don't ever put civilians in danger. Do your best not to hurt anybody. Do your best not to be in situations that civilians, innocent civilians, can be hurt. And I can so then, then explain why some civilians do. Um, in the last Intifada, I looked it up, it's between 1,000 and 1,500 civilians, according to the different organizations, were killed. Because sometimes uh, a lot of soldiers in a situation which it's their life or uh, uh, the life of a terrorist shooting at you, which, in, which, which, which is hiding in the civilian population. Uh, it, sometimes it's, it's a, 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 a just a, a gunshot, and sometimes it's even worse than that. And in order like what? To, to defend yourself, you have you have to shoot towards that that area. And unfortunately, people are getting hurt. And I can tell you that even uh, in situations that civilian population got hurt. Uh, I can tell you that the Israeli uh, army did everything to take care of the wounded of the Palestinians, uh, of the Palestinians and did everything in its power uh, to, to try and, 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 and give them the best intention care they could. Okay. Can I ask where, what cities you were in, like during the... Uh, I prefer not to go, okay. not to go into that. Okay. Okay. okay.